Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Java in your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. So let's get started. First of all, uh, if you don't have Java and you want to check whether Java is already there in your system or not, there is a small little test you can do if Java is really present in your system or not. So what you need to do is you need to go to your start screen here and go at the bottom right and search for uh, command prompt so this is my co command prompt I will open it and this is not what I wanted to open yeah so this is a command prompt and in here type Java C Java C is command to compile Java programs and if you enter Java C and press enter here and if you see Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command then Java is probably not present in your system or you can uh, even even give a command Java and if it doesn't run then you know that Java is not present in your Windows operating system so how you can download this uh, Java in your uh, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 just open your browser and in the search just search for java jdk download okay and the first link you will find here is www.oracle.com slash tech network slash java so this is the link uh, you need to click here and this will open this website just agree and proceed and in here there are versions for Java so if you want you can install Java with this NetBeans IDE NetBeans IDE is a development platform IDE is uh, the short form for integrated development environment so it's in Java program editor if you want to install you can install it but for now I want to show you how you can install Java in your system right so you need to click this at the time of making uh, this video the latest version for Java is Java 8 so uh, uh, this is we are going to install Java 8 in our system okay so just click this uh, Java place from JDK and click this uh, icon here for download and we will reach to the download section so here you will find Java SE development kit 8 download and in here you will find the version for your Windows system so if you have a 64 bit system then you need to uh, install this uh, x86 or if you have 64 bit operating system you need to install this so I have 64 bit so I will install access 86 I will just click this link and I will click OK so first of all I need to accept the license condition you see so I will accept the license condition and then I will be able to uh, download this so I will click this download link for Windows 64 and it will take around one minute to download and once this download is complete we will be ready to install Java JDK so I will let this uh, run uh, and, and download and once it's complete I will show you how you can install Java okay so once this download is complete you are ready to install Java I will just click this uh, executable file which I have downloaded and I will start the installation and now the installation of Java JDK 8 has started just just click next default tool just click next and the process is going on so 
de- for developing a java based uh, program you need to have java in your uh, operating system to compile the program related to java so that's why we need to install java in our system there are some application which uh, need to uh, run on java that's why also we want to have java in our operating system so installing the class preparing install and you see the this is the link where java is will be installed c slash program file slash java and it will also install jre8 for you which is java runtime environment uh, 8 uh which will help your programs to run on your machine so click next and saying 3 billion devices run java and i will let this process complete and once this process is complete you see you as you will be able to see this message java se development kit update successfully installed so now this uh, java 8 or jdk 8 is successfully installed in your system just close this window and to check whether uh, it's really installed in your system you can go to this file explorer and in here go to the c disk or local disk and go to program files and in here you will be able to see this folder which is called java okay and there will be two folder inside here one is jdk 1.8 depending upon the version of jdk and second is jre folder and inside this jdk folder there is a bin and you will be able to see java c here so this is what we want to compile our programs and all the binary related to java uh, resides here so what i'm going to do is i will just rename this folder jdk bit because it's a little bit big so i will make it little bit simple right click and rename and i will just na- name it as jdk8 right so because it's jdk8 okay now in order to uh, use this on your uh, or in order to use these binaries in your system what you need to do is you need to set the environment variable in your windows operating system so how you can set environment variable in windows uh, operating system for java what you need to do is just once again go to your start screen and search for search for system system and you will see first link is system and in here in the systems window you need to go to advanced system set settings and in here you need to go to en- environment variable to set the environment var- variables so click this small button here environment variable and in the system variable section here this is a system variable section search for path so search for this uh, row called path and double click this row and in here you need to give the path of the binary files for java in order to recognize that java is uh, present in your system okay so what you need to do is just go at very last of the, these uh, lines so i will go at the last so in here at the last i will give the same semicolon and i will give the path of the jdk files so just put the semicolon go f- and open uh, the java folder where you have installed java go to jdk8 and binary and just copy this path here so i will copy this path from here and go to system once again and in here you need to paste this path same which is c colon slash program file slash java slash jdk8 slash bin 
okay and now you can click ok ok and ok okay so now you have set your environment variables um, now you are ready to run Java or you have installed Java and set uh, the environment variable for Java now to check once again that Java is really installed in your system just open your command prompt once again and once again check it with the command Java C and press enter and it's saying once again Java C is not recognized let's see why maybe I have uh, forgot the slash here so I need to give in the environment variable path and after this bin let me see what I need to do so I don't think this is this slash is the problem here it should be like this but I think I need to reopen my command prompt because it was running uh, uh, the session was uh, old for this command from so I need to reopen this session once again and then I will be good to go I think so I will reopen the command prompt once again command prompt and now I will type Java C and now you will be able to see different commands you can see above these are the different uh, you know Java C options to compile or Java program generally you use uh, Java C command with the source file and options so that uh, if you want to compile your Java program you see uh, you write Java C and the source file name and then it will be compiled but there are uh, some better ways to compile your program using some IDE for example NetBeans or e Eclipse so in the later videos or in some other video I will also show you how you can install Eclipse or NetBeans in your Windows 8 operating system but now whenever you give Java C and you see a bunch of these commands you know that Java is installed in your system and you can compile your Java programs using this Java C command so I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now